Hi guys, so I am doing a tarot review, not really unboxing, but tarot review and look through um, for you today. Um, the reason I'm not on my good camera is because I can't find the charger for it and I can't charge my camera right now. So hopefully I can find it because I'm going to be filming something really exciting tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I still wanted to put this up because I really wanted to talk about it, so uh, I decided to just do it on this camera. So the quality isn't going to be as good, but definitely check out this deck, it's really, really awesome. So this deck kind of came to me in a different way than my decks normally do. Um, I don't mean come to me, but like the way I went about getting it. Um, I got this deck from the shop where I work, but it was an already open deck, because sometimes we open the decks so we can um, show people. And so this is the last one left, and I don't typically get decks that have been opened already, but something about it just drew me in and I was like, I need this deck today. I have seen this deck um, in the past, and I've been intrigued by it, but I'd never had a chance to look through it. So when I looked through it, I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to get this. Um, I'm not going to show you all the cards, um, and also some of them are in a spread in my room, so I wanted to leave that. But um, without further ado, this review is on the Syrian... Uh, star seed tarot fail. Syrian star seed tarot. I think this might be backwards, but I'm not sure. The Syrian star seed. No, it looks like it's right. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, this is a really interesting deck because it is like the you know like the traditional Rider weight in the sense of it has all the cards and all of that. Um, but it kind of goes on a slightly different journey. Like instead of the the fool. I believe it's the star seed, and then it goes into the magician as an indigo, um, and I think that's really, really cool. Also, the court cards have different names. I'll show you what those are in a second. Um, I think it's the seeker, the adept, something, and then the master, and so it's the journey of, like, mastering that space or that element. Um, the elements are also different as well, um, so I will, I will show you those. Alright, so first I will show you the book. Oh, and this, this deck is by, oh, hello. Uh, Patricia Corey and Alyssa Bather, Batha. A uh, Bartha. Oh, gosh, I am just, bleh. Okay, anyway. So this is the book that it comes with. And, and it's, it's not too huge. I think there's. including spreads and a little bit about the author. You have about 83 pages of information. Um, and there is information on each card. And the cards do mean something a little different because they are taking that kind of soul journey, uh, star seed thing. Um, they've taken it into the deck. So let's see. The, the suits are the crystals, the chalices, the orbs, and the flames. The crystals are the pentacles, the chalices are the cups. The orbs are the swords, and flames are wands. And then the court cards, like I was saying, is the seeker, the adept, the sage, and the master. And they don't actually go into the meanings of each one. They just explain the seeker, the adept, the sage, and the master. And then you have to kind of figure out your own interpretation based on the suit. So that's kind of interesting. So that's the book. And so here's the deck. And I, it's really interesting because... I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but as soon as I picked it up, I was like, oh my god, I want to use this for manifesting. I want to use this for specific things, for meditation, um, and then also for cards. So the cards are quite large, as you can see. They're kind of like an oracle deck size, probably closer to the size of like an Alana Fairchild deck. Um, but here's the back. It's really cool. Let me see. So I will say, having small hands, it is a little difficult to shuffle this. Um, but the cardstock is really good, and it's got the kind of this shininess to it. Um, so here's the Master of Flames. And these are not in order, because I, I have been using this deck, and I didn't want to didn't want to put it back. Um, Eight of Flames. I don't know, like, it's really interesting, because when I first saw this, I didn't think I would like it, but there was something about the energy that drew me in. I really wanted to interact with this deck. It's kind of different. Um, the major arcana names have changed, like for instance it's the devil card and they call it the shadow. 
I just like the intergalactic feeling of it, to be totally honest. It's something that I, um, I do, I do connect with. Oh, I love this, the Sage of Flames. That's so cool. Sorry if this is a little glitchy at all. Oh, that, that's the Magician. That's Indigo. Luna. Um, alchemy is, uh, I believe, Temperance. Abundance is the Empress. Hope you guys can see that. Reason is the Hierophant. It does kind of have that like digital picture quality, which I don't usually go for, but I like the images enough where it didn't bother me. Oh, Master of Crystals. I freaking love that. That is an actual photograph of a crystal skull, which they talked about in the books, which I thought was really cool. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like a mixture of photos and digital stuff. So like, if you're not into that, this is probably not a deck for you. But I'll note, it doesn't feel as digital to me. It feels a little more well done. So it doesn't bother me as much. I don't know. Like, to be honest, I'm surprised that I was drawn to this deck. <laughs> um, Solar Deity is the sun. To be totally honest, I don't know why I like this deck, but I do. It's really cool. And I like that it's so big. Oh, the Great Wheel. That's awesome. Look at that sacred geometry in there. You can't see it, but there's like a flower of life in the middle and everything. Um, I really like this, I, this deck for like pulling a card and like setting it up for meditation with like crystals and stuff. I don't know. That just feels really good to me. Um, if you if you are interested in this deck, I would say check out the images like online and get a really good idea for it. Again, if you don't like that the digital stuff, like be aware that it does have that kind of an energy. I don't know, but it just doesn't feel as bad to me. Let's see if I can find some images that I really like. I really like. Four of Orbs, rather. Reflection is the Hermit. Oh, this is the Star Seed, so this would be the Fool card. Oh, and I really love the star. You know, you guys know my uh, connection to Egypt and stuff like that, so I really like that. Of course, the Chariot. of orbs is really cool. Oh, the six of chalices. I love this. Star children. I hope you guys can see this. I will say I usually like the two of cups. This isn't my favorite two of cups in the world. It's a little too romantic comedy. Not romantic comedy, like romantic novel book. A karma. I like that. Crystals. Chubby Two of Pentacles. I do love the Lover's card. This looks like a soul connection to me, like Twin Flames. Love that. Um, but again, I'm not really sure why I like this deck so much. Oh, Higher Self. That's the Priestess. I really like that. Ah, the Lower Keep. Ascension. This is the world. It's hard to see in the back, but there's a bunch of planets and dolphins. Okay, I hear you. <laughs> there are a couple like random pictures in here that I don't really see how they connect as much, but that's a painting. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Um, it seems like this deck was really made with a lot of intention. Ooh, I don't usually like the Hierophant, but this one I love. Guidance. I love that the Egyptian and then the, the Buddha. I love that. And the ancient wisdom tradition. Um, death card. Yeah, I don't know. 
this this deck, even though it's it's been digitally made and and all of that stuff, I feel like a lot of thought and intention went into this deck, and I can really appreciate that. I really feel it's beautiful. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is look at that. I mean, that's just beautiful. Look at him, Master of Flames. So beautiful. So anyway, um, I'm really enjoying getting to know this deck. I think it's going to be really awesome. I feel like it's going to be one of those ones that goes with me for a while. It, I don't know. It just had a really cool energy about it. Um, so I hope you like this little review. Um, definitely check it out online if you couldn't see the pictures as well. Maybe I'll take a few pictures of the cards just to get, give you an idea of what they look like. Um, but yeah, so um, I definitely recommend this deck. It's a very, very cool deck. Again, it's the Syrian Starseed Tarot. And, um, yeah, I'm really loving it. So, um, if you like this video, please give it a like. And to see more videos like this, you can hit the subscribe button. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. My social media links are in the description below this video. Hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget, it's all about the soul journey. Bye!